hello guys today i will show you how to use signal builder in signal builder block in matlab simulink so first go to the library and type signal builder and right click on it and we need a scope also to see the signals so add this scope okay to see the signals connect this now signal builder what what is the work of this the signal builder built built signals various signals so to see that just double click on it or the properties of this signal builder so this type of window will open so you can see already there is a signal already there is a pulse signal uh, you can change the position of this pulse signal like this up and down you can only move this up and down and you can only right and left move this right and left up and down right and left but you can't move this point only up and down so to move this point click on shift and then uh, then move like this click on shift and then click uh, sorry then click on uh, shift like this you can move but now without shift click you can't move only with the parallel so first okay see this signal with scope run you will see the signal on the scope okay let's see yes here you can see the signal so now if you want to add more signals just if you want to add a pulse signal then click on this if you want to add a step signal then click on this if you want to add a constant signal click on this to delete this right click on signal and delete ok delete delete ok now you can see here 0 to 10 you can see here 0 to 10 suppose if you want to move this point left side with clicking shift also you can't move this point to the left so if you want to move this point if you then you have to change the time the, to change the time click on this axis and change time range first select this these are these are different signals signal 0 to 5 this one is then yes 0 to 1 this one and 5 to 10 this one all different signals so first click on this signal and now go to axis and change time range 0 to suppose I want to 6 ok now you can see this signal 5 to 6 only 
if you want to change this signal then you can change click on axis and click on change the time range uh, 0 to 3 ok you can see here only one because uh, after the other signals that are present uh, those are more than uh, 3 after 3 seconds that signals appear will appear so that's why those signals are already delete so let's add another signal okay now see these two signals on number of input ports 2 ok run scope you can see these two signals here so if you want to add more signals without this pulse step and constant signal you can click on this signal and click on new and then you can add a square a sample sign noise what you ever want you can add suppose I want to simple sign ok you can see here now if you want to add if you want to add any uh, sorry, if you want to add any custom signal you can also just give the value it will show you so delete So when you need the signal builder suppose you if you are going to make a solar system in your uh, MATLAB simulink then uh, uh, you need irradiation input you need to give irradiation inputs then you can use this signal builder you can use this signal builder that time and Ah, yes uh, in any case of uh, input uh, variable input you can use this yeah. this is a very easy process to give uh, easy way to give the signal uh, and variables input in your system so this is a amazing block in MATLAB simulink uh, this make many uh, system easier so that's it guys uh, this is the signal builder and you if you click on this any signal and it will show you the signal name you can change your signal name and uh, it will time position it will show you the time motion 0 to 1.2 and to y value also 0 to 4 6 5 so that's it guys if you have any question just comment in the comment box